How you doing, bro? I'm okay. He got, he, he got white Jesus on him real quick. I was asking what he think about this. Oh, man. Hey, <laughs> you, hey, that. you know your nationality? Real quick, I'm actually, then I'm going to get on there because I'm, I'm going to show you something. You know your nationality? Black African. Black African. Hey. That's, well, actually, that's a color and a person. On this side is what the Most High God called us, and that's our nationality. Right. The 12 tribes of Israel. The laws, men that taste like leche. I'm a God, you better not disrespect me. Who I am, I stand where I stand. Got faith in God, he said. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. I'm doing well. What's your name? Romeo. Romeo? Hey, I'm a Haja. Hey, you know your nationality according to the scriptures? Only black African. Black African. Hey. That's well actually that's a color and a person. Right. Your your shoes you got on your feet, they black, right? right. You ain't the same color as that, right? You're a little you're a little lighter, right? And then African, that's that's a white man. Leo Scipio Africanus. Right, right. You don't come from no white man. Your daddy white? He mixed. He what? My mom's white, but my dad's mixed. He's Indian. He's Native American. So you don't come from no white man, right? Nah, so you can't be black. American, right? Come over here. Yeah. You believe in the Bible. So right here, on this side, is what America calls us today. On this side is what the Most High God called us, and that's our nationality. Right. The 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. So you said your father is mixed. Ain't no mixed in the Bible. Right. He's what his father is. Right. So if his father is so-called Native American or so-called Mexican, that's what he would be. So what's your grandfather on your father's side? Native, Native American? What's this say down here? Find me Native American and then what God called us? American Native Indian? Right, so what does it say what God called us? Jeff? Gad. G-A-D, Gad. That's right. You're from the tribe of Gad, according to the scriptures. That's right. That's right. A mighty tribe from a, the mightiest nation on the planet Earth. Right. That's right. Don't call yourself mixed. Your mother is from the tribe of Judah. You, you and your father from the tribe of Gad. Y'all are right. Israelites. How I know that? How we know that? That's what you should be asking. Should you? Yeah. This brother can tell me who I am, right? Do the right thing. Bring it up. This is how. Come here, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna show you your nationality real quick. You got two watch out, soldiers. You got if you got two minutes, three minutes, 2850, uh Deuteronomy one and one. Real quick. Deuteronomy one and one. Because the Israelites, the Bible is written for to the Israelites. No one else. It's your history, and it's the way we're gonna get out of the condition to get the kingdom of heaven. Because you want the kingdom, right? Yeah. All right, check that out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So this is to all the Israelites, all 12 tribes, 2015. Yes, sir. This is how we identify who you are in the scriptures. Because every nationality on the face of the earth are in the scriptures. This is the Israelites, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken, unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, a future prophecy is gonna happen if we as a people didn't listen to God. Do we listen to God as a people today? Not completely, no. No, we don't, not, not at all, not even halfway. So we know it's talking to a rebellious people already, right? Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do the com all his commandments. Do we do all of God's commandments as a people? We. Some of us might do one or two, right? But not all of them, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it says all these curses are gonna come on us 
and overtake us. Is a curse a good or bad thing? Bad. It's bad, right? So if I say curse you to hell and back, curse you and the horse you rode on, right? I want something bad to happen to you, right? That's what God said. He said if we as a people don't listen, he going to curse us. Right. But how he going to curse us? This is how we identify who you are, who we are in the scriptures. 16. Yes, sir. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. As so-called Native Americans, the cities that we're cursed in are what? Reservations. Don't they put us in reservations? And then put opioids and drugs and alcohol? And then our, our families, because I'm from the tribe of Gad. The officer right here from the tribe of Gad. Our families bugged out on reservations, right? Or, or some of them, don't, they don't know their language no more. We don't know our, our language. We speak English. We, we say we're mixed. Bring it out. Cursed in the city. And what else? And curse what? And curse shall thou be in the field. So what were the so-called Native Indians doing in the field when Christopher Columbus came over here? Ponce de Leon, all of them came over here. You know, they were, that was the first, that was the beginning of the transatlantic slave trade. Bring it out. You didn't know that, did you? Let's say 1492, Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue, right? He came over from Europe, came over to uh, South American Central, right? And he took 12 Hebrew slaves back with him to Europe. Bring it out. That started the transatlantic slave trade. Right. The, the, the native Indians who were here first were first slaves. They were first slaves. They had shackles on them. It's a, it's a country in South America called Columbus. For who? For Columbus. America is called America for who? America best future. Right. Right. Letting you know that they conquered it for themselves. They put us in, in change and sackles. They made us pick cotton first. Right. Mm -hmm. They made us pick tobacco first. Because we were here already. The, right. the native Indians, right? That's what the books say, right? The native Indians, the Mexicans, the Tainos, the Arawaks, they was here first, right? Go to, to 32. What you got? I was gonna get anxious, you get that? Uh, 32 first, and then we'll get that. The, the curses identify who we are in the scriptures. Okay? Yes, Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Right. No, 31. 31. Thine ox shall be slain before thine ox. And this is a curse, remember. Cursed if you don't keep the commandments. Read that again. Thine ox shall be slain before thy eyes. The U.S. Calvary, right? Didn't they slay all the buffalo that the Native Americans used to eat up? Right? Read that again and say what? Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes. They just did it for the, for the pelts, for the skin, for the wool, right? And they just piled them up on the mountain and didn't eat the meat. Our ancestors, when they did it, they only hunted for what they needed. We didn't overindulge. Right. They killed our resources. They starved us out. They gave us smallpox and blankets. Right. Read. And thou shalt not eat thereof. Uh -huh. Thy ass shall be violently taken away. And they, they hunted them. You can't, you can't even get them. They had to regulate buffaloes, right, for a time. Oh, no, you can't hunt buffaloes. Y'all can't get them no more because they violently took them away. They almost went extinct right. the way they hunted them. So we couldn't get it. So we, because that was a resource for us as so-called Native Americans here, right? Read. Thy ass shall be violently uh -huh. taken away from before thy face, uh -huh. and shall not be restored to thee. And did they restore us? Did they pay us back yet? Have, they took our land, right? This was our land from the East Coast all the way over to about Mexico or uh, Texas. This was our land as Native Indians, Native Americans, so-called, right? They put us in reservations. Did they give us land back? They gave us they gave us casinos, right? And we get a little we get a little residual from that. And then they gave us alcohol. So we go the money we got from the casinos, our four parents now today spend it on alcohol. Read. Thy sheep shall be given unto thy enemies, uh -huh. and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Right. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Hey, it's a famous story about a so-called native Indian woman. Right? It was John Smith and Pocahontas, right? Oh, she fell in love with the white savior. Oh, no. Really? Read that again and say what? Thy sons and what? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. She was, He took her as a captive. Right. She didn't want to be with that man. That's right. Today, don't they take us... Native Indians call themselves... What'd you call yourself? Mixed. 
like mixed or black, right? There's a lot of Native Indians calling themselves black. What black people, where they, where our kids go? Don't they take our kids if we don't take care of them? They, they, don't they go in the, uh, what's that, the, uh, foster homes and all that? If, if you, if you don't, if you discipline your child the way they see, don't like, defects gonna come take them? That's happened to us as a people. How you doing, bro? I'm okay. He got, Got the white Jesus on real quick. I was asking what he think about this. Oh man, hey, <laughs> you, you hey, give me, go to uh, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 1. You see this? What's up, King? You know your nationality? Real quick, I'm actually, then I'm gonna get on there because I'm, I'm gonna show you something. You know your nationality? Hell, you know why? Because we've been cursed as a people. Right. What would you call yourself? Black, African American, uh, what? The, the original man. We got all kind of names for ourselves, except the Israelites. That's right. Read that. Watch. Watch what you got on your neck. Rem who came over here to America and conquered America, King? Huh? Jesus, right? Jesus ain't conquered America. Who? Who? Who conquered America? Christopher Columbus, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Right. The so-called white man. They came over here. And what? What did he bring? Look right here. Cause we going He native. He so-called native Indian. Where is it at? It ain't on this one. It ain't on that one. But they forced us to worship that image. You got, huh? You got Caesar Borgia, no, it's with the cross? Oh. No, it's not that one. You got Caesar Borgia, that's a white, look at him. That's, a, that's right here. That's a, that's a real white man. You got Caesar Borgia. And then up here, you got the Grim Reaper, right? Mm -hmm. So one of them's supposed to represent love and and affection, right? The, 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 that white boy. And the other one's supposed to be deaf. That's kind of contradictory, right? Read that. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 1. You know? Again, one prepare himself to sail and about to pass through the raging waves, calling upon a piece of wood. A piece of wood. This is the voyage that Christopher Columbus and all those conquistadors came to America. They brought that piece of wood, because don't he represent the, Christ, the cross? He represents the cross, right? The Catholics. They brought a piece of wood. Read. Upon a piece of wood. Uh -huh. More rotten than the vessel that carried him. Hey, that's a rotten vessel he got around his neck. That right. image oh. is rotten. Right. right. Revelation 1.14. Yes, We're going to show you how rotten it is. Because mm. King, that's a powerful name, ain't it? Mm. You, king a powerful name. It means something, right? King means ruler over a dominion. Right. That's right. You're supposed to have subjects and servants. That's right. But you subject and servant to that wicked, idolatrous idol you got around. Bring it out. Read that. The book of Re Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. What Christ look like, King? What Jesus the Christ look like? Long <laughs> hair, branches on his head, white robe. You see, you see that? We've been cursed, like we're in a stupor in our mind. Close your eyes. Real quick, close your eyes. What Jesus look like? In your mind, say it, what color? I, I see, King, I see your lips. You want to say white so bad. Because we've been destroyed as a people. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter one and verse one. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants, these was must surely come to pass. So this is the revelation. The root road of revelation is revealed. And we're gonna show you with your eyes that what Jesus Christ looks like. And then we're gonna show you what you need to do with both of them idols. Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says his head and his hairs were white in color and woolly in texture. Right. Who got woolly hair today? Touch your hair. Both of y'all touch your head. Uh -huh. That's woolly. Right. It's a little hard to get the pick through it, right? Right. But that's a good thing. That's God here. Right. That's right. His, his head right now, look at this tree and look at his hair. Both of them got life in it. Right. Both right. of them spring to the sky. Right. But this image right here, that image on your chain, what the hair do? It fall down to the ground like it's dead. Uh -huh. Right. Who got dead hair? Who got blonde hair? Who got dog stringy hair? Bring it out. What people? It's okay, say it. Right. White folks. That's right. But who got the God hair? Who got woolly hair? Who got hair like a bush? Who got hair that grows to the sky? 
Right. We do, That's black right. folks, Christ read. As wet as snow, uh -huh. and it's ours where has a flame of fire. Hey, King, real quick. You been smoking a little tree? Yeah. What happens when you drink? We gonna get to that too. What happens when you drink with your eyes? What happens when you drink? They turn, what color do I see your eyes turn green? And it's eyes, where as a flame of fire. Your eyes turn red. Right. Right? We all, we all, I don't know why black folks got that one uncle, that one daddy, his eyes always be red. But y'all know who I'm talking about, right? We all got that one. Cause he drank alcohol, he drank wine. Christ right. drank wine in moderation. That's he wasn't right. a drunkard and he didn't get high. We gotta stay sober. Cause it's, it's, it's people out here who want to do harm to you, right? You can't, you gotta be sober. You can't get, be getting high or getting drunk. That's right. Read. And his feet. So your feet, both of y'all feet, they're the same color as your arms? Same color as your face? Right? Right, so it says Christ's feet, what? And his feet, like that's a fine brass. What color is brass? B R. Brass. Dark brown. Dark brown. What color? Like a dark brown. Like a dark brown. So Christ, his feet. So if his feet are brass, his arms are brass, his face are brass, right? What color is he? Like a dark brown, right? But let's see how brown. As if they burn in a furnace. So you burn white rice, what color is it? Black, right? You burn, you burn pancakes. Y'all done burned pancakes before, right? And then what, what color that pancake be? Black. Black. That's the color of Christ. Right. As a black man. Right. So who that image on his neck? Who is it? He got, he got that, that long, straight, slope nose like you can ski on it. Uh, he got out. that wide nose where you can breathe good. Uh, right. Bring it out. He got that dog hair. Jeez. He ain't got no fro. Uh, Bring it out. That's a white boy. That's a real white boy right. that was gay right. and molested his sister and had a baby with him. Right. Bring it out. His name is Cesar Borgia. He's a real. He, he real. Right there. Yep. He real. What you got to do with that, King, now that you know? What, co out. what color, Christ? Black, right? You gotta, when you look in the mirror, guess who you looking at? Christ. You be the image of God. But if you think that's the image of God, what you think about yourself? Uh. Bring it out. Huh? You got the Hebeka? Oh, no, 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 no. That's whole leg go to Hebeka. Yes, sir. Huh, what you think? If you, if you got that around your neck and you look in the mirror and we supposed to be the walking embodiment and the image of God in Christ, what do you think about yourself? What do our people think about this? Huh? Put that on, you'll think that you're a white boy instead of what you really are. Bring not even, not even, that's good. You don't think you're nothing. Bring it you up. think that white boy better than you. Bring it up. But he not. Right. You think you less than, this what you're supposed to do with that. Read. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. Uh -huh. What profit of the graven image? Are you listening, King? What profit is that? What profit? What money you get from that? What advancement do you get from that white boy around your neck and the death angel, the reaper, right? That's what that is, right? Read. What profit of the graven image that the maker thereof have graven it? Uh -huh. The molten image uh -huh. and a teacher of lies. It teaches lies. Our people around here in the hood, they probably look up to y'all brothers, right? Y'all come out, they see y'all strong black men, they be like, man. I... They be like, man, I want to... Here you go. They be like, man, I want to be like them brothers. But then they see you with the white boy in your neck. And they think that's a good thing. And so what? And a teacher of lies. It's teaching lies. What color Christ? Huh? Black. So that's teaching that Christ is a what? A white boy. What white boy ever saved us? Huh? What white boy ever saved us? You tell me. Look at the look at the images. I know white boys did this to us, white men, white women. Didn't Emmett Till get killed by white boys, white men, because of a white woman? Yep. You teaching them that they supposed to look up to them, and they not. Go to uh, Isaiah. What you? That's it on that? Uh, no. Yeah, it's just more to it. The, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to Isaiah. Go to Isaiah. I'm gonna get. We gonna give you this. 
The book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 22. Uh -huh. You shall defile also the covering of thy graven images. So you got to defile, it means destroy it. The covering of graven, meaning somebody graved, they etched, they put a cast, put work into that, read. Of silver. Uh huh. And the ornament of the molten images of gold. What color is that? Gold. It's a molten image. They put it on the fire in the kiln, right? And they molten it, read. Thou shalt cast them away uh -huh. as a mistress cloth. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloth. Hey, King, you gotta throw it away like a dirty tampon. Right. Bring it yo, yo, you said your girl in the car, right? No, my, I gotta get my grandma some chips. She said she won't feel good. You got a girl? Yeah. You know what a tampon is, right? You know what a mistress cloth is, right? Uh -huh. The Bible saying that's what you got around your neck. Right. You ain't gonna walk around here with no dirty used tampon, is you? Now, what you gonna do if you knew, dang, I got a dirty used tampon, it got blood and all kind of other stuff on it. Bring it up. And it was around your neck. What would you do? What would you do? Throw it away. What, it they, they what? Thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloth. You gotta throw that thing away. Throw it in the garbage. How much is it? Is it real? You know what you should do then? You know what you should do? What? You should change the image into a lion. Change the image in something to the Bible. What's your nationality? Huh? You're a black man, right? You're from the tribe of Judah. That's right. You should change it to a lion. That's ain't nothing wrong with that. But that that got to Both of them got to go. Right. Both of them teach evil. Right. Both of them teach lies. Uh -huh. Why we want to be synonymous with death? What's that? Uh, Proverbs. Uh, what's that? No, it's just Proverbs. Congregation of the Dead. Yeah, Torah twenty one sixteen. Yes, Proverbs twenty one sixteen. We always want to be associated with death as a people. Because that's what the Grim Reaper is, right? That's what that, that image you got on your head. It's a mistress cloth. It's dirty tampon. It's used. You, you, should be, you should smell the aroma it's given off. That's what the Most High God smells when he see it on you. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. He thought that was cool. You, man, this, man, that green reaper, that thing nice, it's tight. But it's synonymous with death. You want the death angel around you? Huh? No. Who want the death angel around here? You want to die? No. Your mother to die, your sister, your family? No, nah, you got to throw all that away. That's right. That's what it's showing. Right. Oh, it's okay. It's okay to be cool. It's okay to die. No, no, it's not. Somebody going to miss you? Yeah. You don't want to be synonymous with those things. That's Both of them teach lies. Both of them teach death. Because that white boy in your neck, he can't save you. That's right. When, when Christ died, what's, give me Matthew 24. Matthew 24, no, 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. That's what I want. 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. Then I want Matthew 24. 24 and 4, yeah. Listen to this before you go. Because this is what you, this, we've been destroyed. Look down here, King. Both y'all look down here. This ain't a good thing. We got shackles. They got swords on us. About to, they about to murder the brother. All that done beat us. We couldn't talk. We couldn't read or write. They cut our tongues out, our hands off, our feet off. Right. Because we were disobedient to what they said. And we were destroyed. And they gave us white Jesus. You a Baptist? You a, you a seven-day Adventist? What you used to go to church worshiping on Sunday, right? That's where you learned that from. Read. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. So these men, most black folks are Baptists. The Baptist religion was created and given on our people in 1608. What were we doing in 1608? We were slaves. Right. We couldn't read or write. They told us what God looked like. They told us what Christ looked like and the angels looked like. They told us who we were. They told us we were nothing. Now we can read and we see what? For if he that cometh preaching another Jesus. That's another Jesus on your neck. Matter of fact, that ain't Jesus. Read. Who we have not preached. And the Bible don't talk nothing about him being black, him being white, God being white, the angels being white. None of that. Read. Or if ye receive another spirit. And that's another spirit. That spirit come with everybody can be saved. Everybody can't be saved. Right. You, you wanted, the, the, what's the white guy? 
that uh put the knee on George Floyd's neck. Huh? But right, you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. You want to? Oh, here's a better example. The slave owners that owned us. You want to go to heaven with them? You want to go to heaven with Donald Trump? That image right there gives you a false sense of reality. Read that again. A what? A teacher? What? Hey, for if you come and preach, an, preach another Jesus, uh -huh. who you have not preached, uh -huh. or if you receive another spirit, yeah, another spirit, which you have not received, you got another spirit. Everybody can say God loves everybody. It's okay if I get a white girl. It's okay if I bang this sister. It's okay if I tattoo up my body. It's okay if I smoke weed. It's just a little bit of weed. It's from the earth. That's give you another spirit. Read. Or another gospel, uh -huh. which you have not accepted. And the gospel is. We the Israelites, and we God's chosen people. That's and right. we gotta keep his commandment. That's right. That's the gospel. They giving something contrary to that. Read. Ye might well bear with him. Hey, you about to be mindful with that thing. I suggest you throw it away over that field so, or throw it in a trash can so nobody can't get it, both of them. Because you don't want to teach your brothers, the young brothers and young sisters coming up to do, do you want them to walk in your footsteps if you did bad? Nah. You want them to do better than you do, right? You gotta get rid of that. We gotta get rid of that. What's Matthew 24 and 4? Was that it? Oh, so. Read that. So. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 4. Yep. And Jesus answered and said yes. unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. The real Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, said, Take heed, be mindful that no man deceive you, that none of these wicked Edomites deceive you. Right? right. For many shall come in my name. Hey, there's many people saying I'm Christ. Many religions out there, Buddha, Hindu, right? Islam, Christianity, they say I'm Christ, read. For many shall come in my, my name, uh -huh. say, I am Christ. Hey, that's what Caesar Borges did, did, that white boy around your neck. Leonardo da Vinci said, hey, this is Christ, read. And shall deceive many. And we've been deceived as a people in our mind. Because we don't keep the commandments, because we destroy, because we don't read. We just accept what they tell us. We got to change our mind. Read. Verse 24. Uh -huh. For there shall arise false Christ. That's a false Christ. And false prophets. And the Christianity church is false prophets. And shall show great signs and wonders. Uh -huh. And so much that, if, they, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And that's what they want, the possibility to deceive the elect. We the elect, y'all the elect. The Israelites are the elect of God. That's right. But because we put on another spirit, we've been deceived. You gotta change that thing. Throw it away. Get rid of it. Melt it down into something. Other than that, the Green Reaper, that's death. Melt it down into something that. Something different. Matthew 26. All right. Come on, we need y'all to subscribe to help us push. We got a lot of work to do in North Carolina. The Carolinas need this work. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Carolinas need this work. So we need y'all to go and subscribe right now. Grab your finger. This one right here in particular. Right. Swipe the YouTube that you're probably already watching. Click the YouTube app. Right. Go to IUIC Riley page. Right up under there, it says subscribe. Click that button one time. Click that check. Subscribe to IUIC Riley. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh, my.